Ever wondered where the drama behind closed doors meets the everyday hustle? Enter the Young and the Restless, a TV series that's been serving up a mix of funny, shocking, and downright sad moments since 1973. When was the first time you tuned in to witness the tangled lives of those in Genoa City? This iconic show has been more than just a TV fix for many. Can you recall a personal story of how the characters and their roller coaster lives impacted or inspired you? Share your experiences below and let's dive into the memories together. As you keep watching, be ready for a ride filled with surprises. There's a trove of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to unfold. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic drama? We're all ears, eager to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. So, whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, the drama is far from over. Stay tuned for more tales from Genoa City, where every twist and turn keeps us hooked. And remember, we're all in this together. In the world of daytime television, The Young and The Restless has been a longtime favorite for many viewers. Recently, a family member of a dedicated viewer decided to stop watching because of concerns about Lily. They feel Lily seems indecisive and avoids challenges. The suggestion is to write off Lily's character and bring back her mother, a move believed to connect with a significant portion of the fictional town's population. Another loyal viewer expressed dissatisfaction with the show, mentioning a storyline involving Summer and Kyle's marriage that felt amateurish. They felt the repetitive and uninspiring storylines led them to stop watching the show. On the flip side, a viewer's wife loves the young and the restless, even though her spouse finds it somewhat redundant and formulaic. The show is described as having common themes found in romance novels like love triangles, forbidden affairs, secret romances, and the interference of outside forces. Despite acknowledging the show's predictability and low-budget production, the viewer gives it a middle-of-the-road rating, suggesting a taste misalignment with the genre. In a more critical review, a viewer questions the credibility of a character, Nikki, engaging in a relationship with a younger individual, expressing skepticism about the believability of the pairing. This sentiment is presented as a point of contention with the show. Each review provides a unique perspective on the show, touching on various elements such as character development, storyline quality, and overall satisfaction. These diverse viewpoints captured the range of opinions among viewers, showcasing both loyal fans and those who have decided to part ways with the show for various reasons. In 1998, when actress Michelle Thomas passed away suddenly, Sienna Goins took over the role of Callie Rogers' Stark without a hitch. This show would how well the series could handle unexpected changes. Another real-life moment happened when Jean Cooper decided to get a facelift. Instead of using a stand-in for her character Catherine during her absence, the show's producers came up with a storyline where Catherine also underwent a facelift. This mirrored the real-life decision and made the character's journey more authentic. In 1983, there was a unique casting situation. Velika Gray played two completely different characters at the same time Dr. Sharon Reeves, Patty's psychiatrist, and Ruby, a hotel manicurist. These characters were not related and had separate storylines, showing the show's ability to tell unconventional stories. The Young and the Restless, known for adapting to real-life events and creating straightforward character stories, continues to be a popular daytime television show. The series keeps its audience engaged with its always changing storytelling. Christopher Douglas faced a sudden exit from the series in July 2001, reportedly caught in a power struggle between head writer Kay Alden and executive producer Edward Scott. This departure led to the introduction of David Lee Rusek, who took over the role following the shakeup. Before Doug Davidson and Michael Damian became integral parts of the cast, they were avid followers of Gene Cooper, finding themselves drawn to the drama unfolding in Genoa City long before joining the show. Their connection with Gene Cooper as fans predates their on-screen presence, showcasing the impact the series had on its future cast members. The series' theme song, Nadia's Theme, originally titled Cotton's Dream, is borrow wood from the film Bless the Beasts and Children. This subtle connection to a cinematic piece adds a layer of nostalgia to the series, connecting it to a broader cultural landscape. In 1998, the series faced the unexpected demise of actress Michelle Thomas, seamlessly transitioning with Sienna Goines, taking over the role of Callie Rogers Stark. This event showcased the series' ability to adapt to unforeseen circumstances without compromising its narrative integrity. 
Real-life decisions also found their way into the show, as demonstrated when Jean Cooper opted for a facelift. Rather than using a stand-in for her character Catherine during her absence, the producers ingeniously wove the facelift into Catherine's storyline, creating an authentic reflection of the actress's real-life choice. A casting anomaly occurred in 1983 when Velika Gray portrayed two unrelated characters simultaneously Dr. Sharon Reeves, Patty's psychiatrist, and Ruby, a hotel manicurist. This unique casting choice highlighted the show's versatility in telling distinct and unconventional stories within the same narrative space. The Young and the Restless continues to captivate audiences with its ever-evolving storytelling, seamlessly blending real-life events and straightforward character arcs. The series remains a stalwart in daytime television, navigating unexpected changes with finesse and offering viewers a dynamic and engaging viewing experience. Celebrating over five decades on the small screen, The Young and the Restless has been a staple in daytime television, breaking away from its usual slot in the 1990s to air three primetime specials. Airing on October 25, 1995, May 22, 1996, and March 10, 1998, these specials provided a unique glimpse into the lives of Genoa City's residents, showcasing the show's adaptability to different formats. Reaching a significant milestone in 2023, the show marked its 50th anniversary with a special episode featuring a distinctive opening. This highlighted the series' enduring presence and ability to connect with audiences across generations. During Jean Cooper's impressive 40-year run from 1981 to 2011, she became a fixture on the show, appearing in nearly every episode. Her commitment solidified her integral role in the series. Real-life moments seamlessly integrated into the show's narrative further highlight its adaptability. When actress Michelle Thomas passed away in 1998, the transition to Sienna Goins taking over the role of Callie Rogers, Stark demonstrated the series' resilience in handling unexpected changes. Similarly, Jean Cooper's decision to undergo a facelift was mirrored in the show, with the character Catherine also experiencing this journey authentically. The show is not only a showcase of compelling storytelling, but also a platform that has influenced its future cast members. Before Doug Davidson and Michael Damien joined, they were avid followers of the show, drawn in by the drama unfolding in Genoa City. This connection between the audience turned cast exemplifies the impact the series has had on those who bring its characters to life. As the series navigates character development and storyline quality, it remains a stalwart in daytime television. The ability to blend real-life events with straightforward character arcs continues to captivate audiences, offering a dynamic and engaging viewing experience that stands the test of time.